Hello everyone, my name is Sniping is Fun, and I welcome you all back to the next top 10 list I present to, uh, I'm presenting to all of you here on YouTube. This list is going to be dealing with the Switch and games I feel, future games that haven't been released yet, I feel should come to the Switch. The Switch is an interesting system, I love it so much, we've been getting a lot of games on it. It's definitely a system that's been getting back the third parties. I mean, it's missing some here and there, but it has gotten quite a bit, and it's definitely a step in the right direction for Nintendo, and games still continue to get announced, and sometimes they get announced later on, so a lot of these games are announced now, don't have Switch versions as of now, but some of them I could see potentially getting one, or and all of them I would say I think deserve to get one. Um, so, with that being said, I'm going to be doing today's list this video's list on the top 10 future video games i feel should get a switch version and i know some people will be like oh no the switch shouldn't get that the switch can't handle that this is i don't care this list is what i think personally should be on the switch and the switch has shown us time and time again that games can and do come to it even if we have to settle for a cloud version but I do think more and more games. Too. I definitely think Nintendo needs to push more and more and more for third-party support. And these are some of the biggest third-party games coming out next year, the year after, whenever they come out. In few, there, as, of, as of now announced, plus my honorable mentions. And I do think they'd be kind of interesting to see. And I do think all of them deserve to be on it in some way, shape, or form. Even if we have to put up with cloud versions, as much as that sucks for the most part, I think it'd be something to at least get the games on the system then you know just sitting there and it never comes and the switch is the biggest selling console this generation for ninth generation and a lot of developers just continue to ignore it and i find that funny and sad at the same time with that being said though let's get this list started before this intro goes on too long my top 10 games future wise that are not out yet future games that i feel should come to the nintendo switch and number 10 is going to be a game that probably be a little bit controversial given what type of game it is But I do think it's an interesting concept of a game. I do think it should come over. And all these free-to-play games, a lot of them have come to Switch. And they are all mostly successful. And that is Rumbleverse. It is a Battle Royale game from Epic. And oh no, the Battle Royale is down. I don't like it. No, sir. No. I know a lot of people don't really like those games. And I'm not the biggest fan of a lot of them, too. But um, some of them are really fun. Like the free-to-play games, some of them which are Battle Royale, some of which are not. But Rumbleverse is pretty much Fortnite if it's just a beat em up fighting game. It's pretty much set whatever amount of players down into this big city and they beat each other up rather than using weapons. They're all like wrestling superhero type characters and it's just beating them up. I think that's actually really cool and I'm actually surprised that game hasn't been announced for Switch yet. But it is really an interesting concept from what I've seen. And I just came across it randomly because of watching YouTube and it was a random trailer that started off when that you know the, the advertisement before my video I was watching and I'm like what the heck is this and I looked into it I'm like oh Rumbleverse and then noticed it wasn't on Switch and I'm like that would be kind of cool to get on the Switch and it does seem like it's an interesting different take on the battle royale genre so and I'm kind of interested in trying it out when it comes out so yeah I definitely think because of stuff like you know PUBG and Freaking like Fortnite and all these other free to play games like Dauntless and Spellverse and Rocket League and all that are on the Switch and they're all successful. I think Rumbleverse should be on the Switch as well. Number nine is going to go to Hogwarts Legacy. I mean, there's first and foremost, since the since Harry Potter has been getting video games. There's always been Nintendo versions of it. There is a fan base on Nintendo for Harry Potter games. There is also a fan base on Nintendo for RPGs. And this game is pretty much Elder Scrolls Skyrim, which that is on the Switch. You mishmash the Harry Potter genre into the Skyrim genre with people liking RPGs and people already liking, like on Nintendo, Harry Potter IP. I'm actually surprised this is announced even as a cloud game for the Switch yet. It'd be kind of cool. And I do think since it's the next biggest thing from the world of Harry Potter and the Wizarding World and whatnot, I do think it'd be a cool addition to the Switch, even if it has to be a cloud game, which more than likely that one would be a cloud game. 
I think it'd be cool just to at least get it on a Nintendo platform where Harry Potter already has a market. And I think it'd be cool to take it on the go and whatnot because you can use freaking online else where people you don't have to use online at your house. So you can still take it mobile. It's just depends on the connection you got for freaking cloud games. Some of them work and some of them don't. There's been a mixed bag on Nintendo and I think they're working on that, I hope, because more games are being announced for cloud. So it's really surprising. If they don't have something like that planned, which I feel they might. I don't know. But that's that. Number eight is going to go to WWE 2K22. And I know a lot of people will be like, no, the 2K18 sucked. 2K18 on the Switch sucked because 2K were too lazy to get a real good, you know, porting team to bring it over. They got freaking Blind Squirrel. That team absolutely sucks. There's teams out there like Panic Button that have ported Switch games over, and the Switch games run really well. They look pretty good. They run well. They look good. They they just work, and, they're, and it's been proven time and time again. If you get the right developer team that can port it over properly, games can run on the Switch if worked on properly. Whoever b- chose Blind Squirrel, they obviously were not experienced for the job. And I want to see more wrestling games on Nintendo. I want to see more wrestling games on the Switch. And it used to be the case when you had like the NES and Super Nintendo and the N64 and the GameCube and the Wii. There was all these different wrestling games. Then we get Wii U, and that's the first generation where freaking, like, there's no wrestling games on it whatsoever. And now the Switch, the only wrestling games we have are WWE 2K Battlegrounds. Oh, and that's not even really a wrestling game. And then you have, you know, uh, Wrestling Empire and whatnot, which is cool, but I want to see, like, a mainline, big-time wrestling game. And WWE 2K22 looks like it's going in the right direction. If 2K can get... A good team like Panic Button to port it over, that game can work well. That game doesn't even need a cloud version. It just needs the right porting team. It's a wrestling game. There's not like 50 million things moving all around. You need 780,000 gigabytes of RAM and 4K televisions to play the game. It's a wrestling game. It can run just fine on the Switch, on your small screen, or on the big TV. Number seven is going to go to final fantasy 16 and that would likely have to be a cloud game but final fantasy has its home it got started on nintendo and has and since final fantasy 7 has been off of nintendo as its permanent residence besides side games i know all these games these mainline ones came to nintendo later on they're all digital on the or physical releases for hd collections on the switch and all that right now but since final fantasy 7 none of the mainline releases on time on main release came to a nintendo platform and we're finally getting all these these older games back finally getting nintendo releases for final fantasy 7 8 9 10 10 2 12 and all that sort of stuff i want to see them release it and not a stupid pocketed edition like they did with 15 i want the legit final fantasy 16 experience and i know that would have, that one would definitely have to be a cloud w2k22 can be a legit cartridge Rumbleverse can be a digital game. Hogwarts Legacy can go either way. It'd probably have to be cloud, but it could probably be a legit game. Final Fantasy 16, I'm sure, would have to be a cloud game. And I would live with, I would be fine with that just to get the Final Fantasy back on Nintendo. So there's that. Um, number six is going to go to the Prince of Persia Sands of Time remake. If for only no reason, then the fact, two reasons, I would say. The series has a history on Nintendo, and I that pretty much since like the Super Nintendo, maybe the original Nintendo, like every system has had some sort of like a Prince of Persia game on this and Nintendo, Super Nintendo, I not on the N64, but on like the GameCube, a couple of the handhelds, like the DS and everything. There's been Prince of Persia games countless, and on the Wii, like since then, and then Sands of Time was released on the GameCube. Back in the day, it was the big multi game that was on the GameCube, the PS2, and the Xbox. You're doing a remake. It's on PlayStation. It's on Xbox. Where's the Nintendo platform? Ubisoft, I, know, I thought you were a big supporter of Nintendo. Why the heck is this game not currently announced for the Switch? And I know it, it could work just fine. It, this one definitely doesn't need no cloud game. It'd be fine. It'd be just fine on there. It has a fan base on there. Ubisoft is a developer that supposedly supports Nintendo. I would like to see it on there. And Prince of Persia is a fun franchise. And Sands of Time was a great game. If they can remake it just like it was back then and make it better, I think it'd be fine. Fine. 
Number five. We are in the top five, everyone. And this is going to go to Multiverses. Another free-to-play game, like I mentioned, Rumbleverse. I mentioned this in the games I'm interested in next year. Multiverse is pretty much just a Smash Brothers ripoff clone that's pretty much Warner Brothers characters all thrown together. Batman fighting Bugs Bunny. Harley Quinn fighting freaking Finn and Jake. You know, uh... Mm, what's her face from Game of Thrones taking on Shaggy from Scooby Doo? I don't know, but like it, it, it's it, interesting that it's a Smash Brothers style game, and Nickelodeon's game came to the Switch. There's a market for this, obviously, on Nintendo because it's a Smash Brothers style game. Multiverses isn't currently announced for Switch. I find that very, very weird, but it's definitely a game I could definitely see announced later on because. The Switch has a habit of developers announcing a Switch version later on for their games. Definitely, like later on, and it gets re- and if it doesn't get released on the same day as the other versions, it gets released later. So, Multiverses has a home on there just because of what kind of genre it is, and people like love those franchises. It, it'd be marketed just perfectly fine on the Switch. Number four. It's going to go to King of Fighters 15 because it's the King of Fighters franchise. It has history on Nintendo. People are obviously playing the games, the older games, because they always, freaking SNK always releases the old King of Fighters and all the old SNK games onto other platforms, onto like the digital stores and whatnot, freaking on Nintendo and everything. There's definitely a connection there if they can get freaking Terry Bogard and the Smash Brothers and obviously do that SNK Heroines game a couple years ago. There's definitely some sort of connection, some sort of friendship, some sort of partnership between SNK and Nintendo. I would really love to see them do that new one. It's a fighting game. I mean, like I mentioned with WB, it's nothing that the Switch hardware can't handle. People underestimate the Switch hardware so much, and it's capable of more than people do give it credit for. And I find that really, really sad. And it's a, it's a fighting game. There's no way they can't get King of Fighters 15 to work on the Switch. And it obviously has a market there. There's fight, people like fighting games on Nintendo. There's Nintendo gamers that like fighting games. They already have marketable characters. It's an iconic legacy franchise that would sell well. SNK, get it together. We are in the top three. And this goes to another wrestling game that I want to see on the platform. And it's currently not announced for it, which is the reason why it's on this list. Because they've announced, I think, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series SX. And that's the wrestling code. Virtual Basement's big wrestling game that's pretty much Fire Pro Wrestling if it had licensing of the wrestlers. And that roster is looking really, really good. So if they have the gameplay looking really, really good, that's going to be a product that's going to be really, really selling. And I want to see more wrestling games on Nintendo. I mentioned W2K22, the wrestling code. It's currently not announced for the Switch. And depending on how the game's made, this might have to be a cloud game. But I'm thinking since it's a wrestling game, they could get it released on the system just well. I'll even be fine if it's a late release. It's released like five, six months later than the main one whenever that game does come out, which I don't even think the game's going to come out to like 2023 anyways. <clears throat> so a 2024 release, late 2023 if it comes out early. I can wait. Virtual Basement. I would love to see more wrestling games on Nintendo. And if 2K doesn't jump and make the big jump to that system i want to see you do it i want to see one of these big three oh crap did i mention one of my future oh yeah i did um uh, wrestling games coming out in the future to make it to the nintendo platform i want more wrestling games on nintendo and if it's not w2k22 i want it to wrestling code i would love all of them but if i only get one or the other i at least get one of them and the wrestling code looks like such a fun game and for wrestling fans on nintendo which there's a lot of wrestling fans that own the nintendo platform like the switch i would love to see it Number two, this is a franchise that I'm sure this game is going to be on the system. This doesn't have any announced systems yet, and it's still fairly new because it just recently got announced this year, and all they had was a teaser with the logo, and that's Dragon Quest Twelve. Why? Because Dragon Quest has a history on Nintendo. Dragon Quest, the Nintendo fan base has loved it since the Famicom and the original Nintendo and the Super Nintendo and the Super Famicom and all the DSs and Game Boy Advances and 3DSs and the Switch because they have 11 on the Switch. Switch was one of the biggest games. Nintendo marketed that game so much you would not go a freaking direct without hearing about that game when it was coming out, when they were bringing Dragon Quest 11 to the Switch. And there's such a connection there between Square Enix and... Nintendo, with, especially with Dragon Quest, because Enix is close to Nintendo, I think more so than Square is specifically, and there's a market for this franchise there. I am. This is the game on this list I, I'm the most easily 
guaranteeing is going to be on the Switch. They just haven't announced any platforms for it yet, but it's freaking, you know, Dragon Quest. Why would you not put Dragon Quest on a Nintendo platform? And they haven't shown anything about it yet, so it doesn't look, oh, this system can't handle those amazing HD super realistic graphics. It's Dragon Quest. They're not going to make the characters look realistic. It always looks like freaking Akira Toriyama's anime art style. Because that's the staple of the franchise. Final Fantasy's jumped into the world of realism, but Dragon Quest never has and never should. And I'm sure this game, if we're going to get one of the two, this is a guarantee I can say on it. Even though I still want to see Final Fantasy 16 come to Switch. This one right here, Dragon Quest 12, definitely is the one on this list I can almost guarantee will come to it. And it should, because it's Dragon Quest. And it's loved on Nintendo and sells on Nintendo. So they know they'll be able to market it and get the game to sell. Especially in Japan, where they love and adore. It's pretty much a religion, Dragon Quest. And before we get to number one, I have a couple honorable mentions of games I would love to see brought to Switch that didn't quite make the list. Wherever I put my list at now. Here it is. No, not that one. Here it is. And they are Gotham Knights because, well, mm, Nintendo fans love Batman and DC and superheroes. All the freaking Arkham games did fairly well on Nintendo systems. I definitely remember Arkham, you know, City and Arkham Asylum doing fairly well on the, on the Wii U decently well because those were early games when the Wii U actually was selling a little bit. And then... I think they brought the games over with Arkham Asylum to, like, the Switch. And they are selling. And it's Batman. And even if it has to be a cloud game, Gotham Knights would be fun to see on the Switch. Elden Ring. Now, that's really pushing it because that would definitely probably have to be a cloud game. But it's probably one of the biggest games coming out in 2022. And it's not currently set for a Switch release. And it's one of these big RPG games, kind of like a Dark Souls I think it's going to eventually come over, but I think it's going to be a cloud game. Star Ocean The Divine Force, because it's a fairly big RPG, JRPG game. Star Ocean has a little bit of history on Nintendo. There is a fan base there for it that could at least have some sort of sales. And, you know, it's definitely one of the biggest games coming out probably in the next year or so in terms of the JRPG genre as of now. Sifu, because that's... I. Don't know too much about it, but the game, from what I've seen of art of it and like some gameplay footage, it looks like it's really a fun kind of action-y style game. And then Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, because we need more Borderlands on Nintendo. And not just the classic old school, you know, Handsome Jack collection and 1 and 2 and like 1.5, the pre-sequel. I want to see something new, which we haven't got Borderlands 3 yet on the freaking switch yet but uh i can still see that potentially happening and tiny tina's wonderland would be kind of cool to see and with that being said drum roll please the number one game i want to see released on the switch and brought to the switch in terms of future games coming out that are currently announced is the aew video game i mentioned w2k22 i mentioned the wrestling code can we please get one of these games released on it, like a wrestling game released on it. AEW. Definitely, I think, stands probably the biggest chance out of all three of these to get on there because it currently doesn't have platforms announced for it either. And it's a wrestling game, and it looks graphically like a very high-detailed version of Here Comes the Pain, so it's not going to be like this super... Like I said, I mentioned wrestling games are never super system-pushing requirements. I really don't see that as an argument for a wrestling game. Now, if you want to mention a big, giant... SRPG like freaking Hogwarts Legacy or some sort of big open world games, I can see where you're coming from. But a freaking wrestling game should not be anywhere near close to pushing the Switch's hardware limits. And AEW is growing in size. It's definitely probably, in my opinion, the wrestling game that most people are looking forward to because WWE has Battlegrounds and 2K20 that's got kind of negatively put on. They have some cool things in there, like bring back GM mode, but that has uh, people are still questioning that. There's I've seen a lot of people say they're holding off on probably buying that game until it goes on sale or until after they fully see it. There's no not pre-ordering it. AEW, a lot of people are hyped for it because it's pretty much Ukes working on the game, so it's gonna be like classic WV games, and it has the Aki one of the Aki developers running it, and it's the roster of AEW, which has a lot of class like current day wrestlers meeting classic wrestlers, and I think there's potential there. So 
if out of all three of these wrestling games, one only can make it to the Switch, I would want it to be the AEW game. I would love to see all three. I want to see the wrestling code. I want to see the AEW game. I want to see W2K22. But if I only can see one, it's the AEW game, even though I want all three of them, or at least two of them on the Switch, because I want to see more wrestling games on the damn Switch. I want to see more wrestling games on Nintendo. And the AEW game is my number one. So let's get this list going. I mentioned, go down the list from 10 to 1. Number 10 is Rumbleverse. 9 is Hogwarts Legacy. 8 is W2K22. 7 is Final Fantasy 16. 6 is The Prince of Persia Sands of Time Remake. 5 is Multiverses. 4 is King of Fighters 15. 3 is The Wrestling Code. 2 is Dragon Quest 12. Those are all mentions just mentioned. And 1 is the AEW video game. For those that want to see this list. And all it's written out glory. Here you go. 10 to 1. 10 to 1. 10 to 1. 10 to 1. And that's it for my list. I hope you guys all liked it. Put in the comment section what you guys think of my list. And also put in the comment section what currently not announced for Switch game do you want to see come to it? What kind of what currently not announced Switch games? I mean, what currently what not currently announced for Switch games would you love to see brought to the Switch? Even if they have to be released later, they have to be announced later. What do you want to see from other developers come to the Nintendo Switch? Put in the comment section down below. We can discuss it there. Have fun. My name is Thunderous One. Peace. Please subscribe if you want to have a lovely day. And I'll see you later in the next video. Bye everyone.